So uh, today's topic is pointers and pointers in memory. How to initialize a pointer? How to use a pointer? And today we'll uh, see some of the basics of the pointer, and then we'll solve some previous circuit questions on pointers. Okay. So before knowing the pointer, we should know the structure of a memory, where the pointers are stored, and how the pointers are used. So now let us start. Okay. So what is a memory? So here, whenever I'm talking about the memory, it means the main memory, and the main memory. If I am saying main memory, that means RAM, okay? Because all the intermediate data is stored in the RAM. If you structure, uh, if you see the structure of your computer hardware, then it it is something like this. If this is your CPU, then this is the cache memory, okay? This is your main memory, okay? and this is your secondary memory this secondary memory is your hard disk this main memory is your ram this is your cache memory and there are some small registers like this and if you see the speed of these uh, organizations you see the speed here the speed is slow and here the speed is slow and here the speed is fast plus if you go from this side to this side the cost of per unit hardware increases okay so what C cpu is very fast as compared to your secondary memory so cpu does not directly communicate with your secondary memory it does communicate with your cache memory and it does communicate with your main memory to bring data into the cpu and this main, me main memory communicate with your secondary memory to bring data into the cpu okay so whenever you execute a program that program first gets stored in your main memory that means there's some memory is allocated to that program and then that program is executed so if you see in this diagram if i am representing a main memory like this then there are some data variables which are stored in the main memory okay and for example we are executing a c program that c program will also be stored in the main memory and our compilers that also be stored in the main memory and our operating system that also resides in the main memory so this operating system resides in the lower portion of the main memory and uh, whenever there is free space that is in the upper portion of the main memory okay so that means whenever there is data stored in the memory that means there, there may be some kind of address associated with this data okay now for example you are having this program the program is main int a is equal to 20 character b is equal to x and float c is equal to 3.142 okay now if you are having this program then if you execute this program that means this program now resides in the main memory now if the program resides in the main memory then all these data items will be given some kind of memory location right so this is your memory and in this memory location this floating point number c is given to uh, some memory location here this character b is given some memory location here and this variable a is given some memory location here okay and these memory locations are act, are given in the main memory right so that means there is some kind of address associated with each every single variable if you see here the address is 423452 uh, here the address is 423450 and here the address is 423448 and this address is not given by us this is automatically done by your operating system that means you cannot explicitly give an address to a variable but it is only done by the operating system and you can only play with this addresses okay so once an variable is initialized a in memory that means if for example you are executing a program and when you are executing a program and the uh, variables in the program are initialized a in memory then that memory remains the same you cannot change that memory uh, uh, until uh, there's like you are executing the program so as soon as you finish executing the program that memory is released okay now for example i have this program i'm saying int a is equal to 5 and star ptr is equal to address of a right so that means when i'm saying int a is equal to 5 that means this variable a this variable a is now stored in the main memory and the value stored in the uh, variable a is 5 and 
when i'm saying value stored in the variable 5 that means uh, there's some kind of address associated with this variable that let us suppose that that address is 2000 okay so whenever if you have executed your c programs in some compilers for example in dev c++ or turbo c++ you must have seen two things one is l value and another one is r value okay so this is represented by small r actually r value so this l value is the address associated with the variable and this r value is a value stored in the variable okay now for example here i'm having in um, a is equal to 5 and the address which is given to this variable is 2000 right that means for this variable a the r value is 5 and the l value is 2000 okay now if uh, there is a pointer here so what is a pointer so pointer is something which points to a memory location right so uh, let us just elaborate, elaborate the concept of the pointer now what is a pointer if you are saying you are having a variable for example int a is equal to 5 right now that means this variable a has given some memory uh, some memory for example let us suppose the memory location is 2000 and the value stored in the variable a is 5 now when i do int star b right when i'm doing int star b that means now b is a pointer right so that means now b is a pointer and because of this star this star is also called as at risk okay it e r i s k maybe okay and this star tells that now b is a pointer so here b is a pointer that means this b is will now point to some kind of memory location right so how do you find the address of a variable so if i say b is equal to m percent a right when i'm saying b is equal to m percent a then this m percent a returns the address of this variable a and i'm storing this address to the variable b that means there is a variable b and this b is a pointer but, but this is a pointer okay and this variable b is storing the address of a so it is storing 2000 because 2000 is the address of the variable a okay 